Hey cute people, yes I'm here with another haul. The last video was a haul, the one before that may have been a haul too, I don't remember. But believe it or not, I made the attempt to record myself placing, putting makeup on my face. This look today, but it just didn't work out right. I've been messing with this for hours and I'm ready to put this stuff down and away and all that because I record on my cell phone because I don't have a camera that looks as good as my cell phone does and I if I turn the camera around my iPhone that is I probably get better resolution but I want to see what I'm doing so yeah I got a lot of space around me too I should mm, 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 but that's okay but anyway like I mentioned this is a haul video and I just wanted to do something because since we've had um, the visit from Corona the pandemic I haven't really made a video have I? no I have not so I wanted to make a video I always try to be consistent I know it just doesn't work out that way but I do want to say you should subscribe to my channel for for more of me even though I'm not here all the time when I get here hopefully um, I can share some good things with you and hopefully I have shared some good things with you but like I said this is a haul video and I've been to Juvia's place Urban Decay Walmart Ulta Beauty Bakery and I think that's it yeah so I'm gonna start with the stuff I got from Walmart now I was really excited I had watched a video a young lady did a video shot with me at Walmart she showed an item I was so excited I could not wait to get to Walmart to buy this item got in the store I found it and it looked not as dark as what she showed because in her video for some reason it looked really dark get to the store didn't look as dark got it home and was like no this is not anything I could use but as you can see it is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer. It's for sun kiss bronzer for your face and your body. This is in deep. This is the darkest shade for this item product here. I went online just to check to make sure. And yes, this is the deepest one. Okay. But like I said, in her video, it seemed like this was really, really dark. And I was like, that's perfect because I'm looking for another bronzer. I think the only bronzer that I have that I really touch from time to time is the one that I picked up from Fenty Beauty and it's not the right color for me and neither is this one and like she said which I liked if you look how big the packaging is the product is I'm like okay I like that and then I get it home and this is what it looks like I was like oh no I can't bronze with that I'm not gonna take it back I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna use it for so many other things because you can see with the color here it does have a little shimmer in it so I can use it for my eyes. I can even probably use it for a little highlight. Not maybe the whole highlight, but like a highlight topper or a highlight bottom. I don't know. I'm just thinking of things. But yeah, this is deep. And look at it. It's so light. Let me open it again to show you. Because I was like, what? When I got it home? Because like I said, in her video, it looked really dark. And then in the store, it didn't look as dark, but it looked darker than this. I got it home. I was like, oh my goodness. One good thing to look at when you go to Walmart or any store, to tell you the truth, would be their um, clearance aisle. I don't think I've ever seen much makeup in the Walmart that I go to, but this time they had a lot of makeup. So this time I picked up the NYX Cleansing Oil Stripped Off. I have seen this several times, but I didn't get it. The regular price, I think they're telling me. I don't know if that's supposed to be. I don't know what that says. $15.97? $13.97? But either way, I got it for $3.50. That's the only reason why I picked it up. And I use coconut oil on my face. Um, but I decided to get this product here. Let me see. Just to try it out, I'm supposed to be on a no-buy, but... As you can see, I purchased some things. So let's see what this smells like. No smell at all. Let's see if it's oily. Oh, it is oily. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. You can see that. All right. It is oily. No, doesn't have any smell. It's really, really oily. So hopefully this will work. And it says, your face will love this one. And formulated with vitamin E, our look to our ultra light weight stripped off cleansing oil glides right on and features a refreshing scent. It says refreshing, but I don't smell anything. And this is what it looks like. I remember seeing this, but I never wanted to try it. But I figured I'll go ahead and get it for $3.50. So why not? You can always try new things, right? And I also picked up, like I mentioned to you, I picked up the bronzer, right? This is all at separate times, not at the same time. Then I saw this too. Um, these are the sets, blot and translucent powder. It's individually packed. It's an applicator with makeup. And this is it here. It costs $1.50. The regular price, I believe, was $2.97. There are five in here. I'm not even going to open it up, but this is what it looks like. It has translucent powder on it. So you blot it. It has powder on it. I am not an oily girl, but I figured I'd try these because, like, why not? It was on um, clearance, so I got it. And my eyelash is stuck to the package. Okay, so you can just touch up your face. We set your makeup on the go anytime, anywhere with our individually packed applicator with just the right amount of translucent powder for a shine free, refreshed look. So you pull out you pull out the package here, you use it in a dabbing motion. Of course you guys know that. It doesn't say how long you should use one particular no, it doesn't say, so I don't know. I am looking forward to this for sure. And then also what I picked up at um, Walmart were these NYX foundations. I, I didn't want to try these, but I just didn't want to pay. Now here I think this says it was $13.97, but I got them for $7. And I didn't pick these up at the same time. I picked them up at separate times. So I believe I had 20 first, I think. I don't know which one. I had, I had one of them first and I was like, hmm, that's not really my color mm, I'm gonna knock down a whole bunch of stuff so this one here is 20 does it have a name deep rich and I believe I have some other makeup deep rich from NYX and I wasn't sure how I liked it but I'm gonna this is deep rich on my hand here can you see it can you see it can you see it Okay, that's Deep Rich. I'm just going to do a little light swatch. Nothing too heavy. And then I have another color here. This one here is 21. I can't remember which one I had first. But one of them I was like, hmm, I need to go either up or down. Um, you can make it light coverage, medium coverage, or full coverage, it says. And the one good thing about the packaging is that did I open this up already? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Let's see what color this one is. This one here is cocoa. So I'm trying to remember which one I had first. And I was supposed to do something and end up doing the opposite. I don't know. And this second one here is cocoa. I think cocoa may, may be more me. You see? So it's 20 and 21. Rich and Coco. Is that just Rich? Hold on. These names getting me. Yeah. So you see, I bought these two. But I think I... They had a whole lot of other ones. And like I said, I didn't buy them at the same time. And when I went back, they still had a whole lot. So, I don't know. I'll try these real quick and see if I got the ones that benefit me. It's so great. If not, then I'll have to go box to the drawing board but for seven dollars you can't beat that right and then i ordered some stuff from julia's place now julia's place is really going to be the death of me because they always have some sale going on i know they had a sale i think two or three times since i purchased this stuff here but i was like 
No, I, I, I can't do it, so. I didn't do it. I just said I gotta keep it moving. Because I didn't buy any eyeshadow palettes this time. I just bought some makeup. So what I purchased, and I already have this here in Legos. But I got the I Am Magic, um, the matte foundation. So I got this here. And I got it in the color Burkina. I was in the store trying to match me for the longest. It was like... It's like you look at the shades that they offer and it's like three or four of them could fit you. But then you want to make sure you get the right one. I was like, I got to get out of here. So this is Burkina, which may be, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Let me show you Burkina. And that's Burkina. Can you see it? So these two, I think, may be too dark for me. If you can see, and then this is Burkina. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, let me get here in the light because my light isn't really working with me this evening. But, mm -hmm. so these two are the ones from NYX, and that's the one from Julia's Place. And then I picked up two shade sticks. Now, do I have other shade sticks? I think I do. I don't know. Oh, my God. This is a mess. And then I picked these. I picked up two of these, the shade sticks. I got um, Mozambique. You can't see the name, so I ain't going to show it to you. Mozambique. And let me show you what it looks like. Oh gosh, Mozambique is gonna be too light. Hey, it's Mozambique. Hey, isn't that right? Yeah, it's too light for me. I hate buying these um things online. But I did go to Ulta and I was swatching like for my dear life and I thought that would be a great match. But it looks so much lighter. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I tell you. Sometimes you need somebody that, well, I was, I don't put these things on my face. That's the whole thing. I put them on a napkin and then I look at it compared to something else I already own. And I say, okay, that kind of looks like it should be. But you see the, the big difference between um, the shade stick and the uh, magic foundation. It looks so different. So you can tell almost I made a mistake somewhere. And I think it's with that one. And then I picked up this one here, which is Guinea. All right, let's see what Guinea doing for me. Mm, I don't know. This is Guinea. Yeah, that's Guinea. And you can see a big difference between these two. And let me see real quick now. Um, don't these things have numbers? No, they don't have numbers, right? No. Well, that's what I picked up for the... Stick foundations, and they were half price. So if the regular price for the stick foundations was seven or fourteen dollars, so I paid seven. And then the um, I am magic. If it's twenty, then I paid ten. Yeah, something like that. All this, all that stuff I got and showed you was on sale. Mm -hmm, everything, and I can't remember how much. Did they have a price on here? Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. So the shade sticks were $8. And the foundation was 10 And I used the coupon dupe that, and I got 10% off. Okay, now let me show you what I got here when it comes to these setting powders. Because I bought two of the little, little setting powders. Show me two. I bought two. I bought Gobi. I'm not going to open these up, but this is Gobi, what it looks like, pretty much. It doesn't look as yellow as I think is coming up on the screen there. It looks kind of tannish, but let's see. How much did I pay for these? I think these, this. Hmm. 
$7.20. I paid for one. And one I paid $8. No. Yeah, one I paid $8 for. This one I paid $7.20. And the other one I'll show you, Kalari, I paid $7.20. I'm crazy with it. Hold on. Gobi, I paid $7.20. And Kalari, I paid $8. Let's see if you can kind of... But that's what it looks like. I said it's coming off a lot yellowish than it is. It's not yellow like that. It looks kind of like um a light color. I don't know what the color would be. I can't think of anything. But this is Kalari. For some reason, this was $8. I wonder why it was a different price. I bought them at the same time. Because the sale was a good sale. And I was like, I just can't pass that up. I can't even open it. You know, one thing I noticed about the shade sticks and I noticed it about the other one that I had purchased, to me it looks like somebody rubbed them up. I should have showed it to you guys before I actually swatched it because these are the first times I swatched those particular products. But one thing I noticed about these shade sticks for real, I mean, both of these, this is just one roll. Look how thick that is. You can tell these are full coverage. And this is Kalari. Now, this is yellowish, so I don't know what it comes to look like. Yeah, and it doesn't look as gold as it does on the camera, but this is Kalari. And these are really cute, small, and petite. You can see how little it is. So that's Kalari, and that's what I picked up from Juvia's Place, right? So now... I told you before that I was going to be on a no-buy, but with my no-buy, there were three things that I was going to purchase when they went on sale. And all those things, those items would be something from Urban Decay. One of them I missed, and that was the Naked 3. But the Naked 2 went on sale at Ulta. I wanted to place my order, then it went off, then it, you know, then went back to the, no, it sold out, it sold out. And then I said, you know what, let me go and see what Urban Decay's website is doing. So I went to Urban Decay and I bought this gorgeous palette from there. Because I want two. Well, I have two now. I want three and honey. Yeah. So I got this one. Can you see it? Sorry. You've probably seen these be this one before because this is an old, old G. And here it is in this tin can. So I finally got my hands on it. Like I said, I want three and honey, and I'll be cool. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it cute, gorgeous, pretty, pretty and gorgeous? And it comes with a double-sided brush, which I, I think I've used one of the brushes that came with um, a palette that I had. I like the brushes. It's not too bad. And here it is. Here it is. I cannot wait to use it. I know. You're probably like, really? Are you going to use it? Yeah, I am. I am. I don't know when, but I am. So I picked this palette up, and they gave me one little sample. The um, shipping and handling for this one little package was very expensive, although it did come in a big old box. So this is the Naked 2. And like I mentioned, um, they gave me a sample, and they gave me a sample of the Vice lipsticks. They always give you ugly colors that you don't even... They should ask you, pick three that you like, and then give me what I want to try. But these are the samples that they included in the little package. And one thing I will say is that since I got a palette, I like how they pack this stuff here. Unlike um, Julia's Place, I wish I could... If you got a Julia's Place order, you'll know what I mean. Because I think that if any of those packages just gets dropped the wrong way, all your powder um, products are going to be destroyed. But Urban Decay did me right. Look at this. One little... Yeah. One little palette. And they put it with some plastic bubble wrap gray thing here. Give me gray when it's purple. And yeah, Julia's Place need to take note because they don't want to exchange anything. They don't want to um, replace anything. They just want you to be happy with it and your stuff break. Then like, what next? They just, I think they just say you just shit out of luck. But yeah. 
Okay, 24 months. Okay, 24 months. Because that would be good for me. Okay, now I have some other things I want to show you guys. So I'll be right back. Yeah, they just fell on the floor. So I'm going to go pick them up. It was really hard. Okay, so I'm back. And I just want to show you some more stuff. Now, these two things I picked up from Ulta before um, the whole thing with us self-quarantining and also social distancing was going on so i picked these up from also the first thing i'll show you this is a um, purifying vegetable fo facial soap it's medicinal bamboo charcoal and it's really soft and i wanted to use this because i want to get really into my skincare again like i used to be um yeah it is an item that was only five dollars so it wasn't too bad it's a sponge the only thing i don't like about it is that they want you to replace this they want you to rep they want you to oh let me let me let me say this out loud they want you to replace this after three months but i ain't gonna replace it after three months i mean usually when they say three months i usually give it an extra month because um nobody ain't got time to be spending money that's like paying a bill if you ask me if you're gonna use something and you like it but it has a lot of instructions like don't wring it out make sure you leave it somewhere where it can dry out without um being um enclosed and all that other good stuff so i want to try that um at the time that i purchased this i had wanted to purchase some product from the ordinary but the alternate me they don't carry the, the ordinary so and i didn't want to order it online but anyway yeah so I got these two because I think I told you guys before, these are the uh, makeup removing towels, right? I want to start using these because I want to stop using the makeup wipes. I'm trying to, you know, watch my carbon footprint and maybe you could think about that too. So I'm going to start using these. I have to wash them first. And then one night I was watching a video. This is the second time, maybe even the third time, that Andrea Renee has made me purchase something. So she did a video. I can't remember what the video was. Oh, I can't remember what the video was about now. Was it about Primus? I'm not Primus. I don't remember. But it was a video. If I remember the video, I'll link it down below. So I said, you know what? I want to get it because the time she did the video, Ulta had... Free shipping so this is probably at the start of corona but they have free shipping so and i had some points so i don't remember what the regular price for this was but i know i ended up paying about six dollars so i said i'll go ahead and get it um because she pretty much liked it i can't remember if she loved it but i don't think she had anything bad to say about it so you just i said you know what i need some bronzes so i'll go ahead and get it so when i went to Ulta the first time I must have looked at an old email that said that this no that's another palette oh telling stories but she was talking about this one so I said you know what I'm gonna get that because I like it now I do believe these bronzers are I think this one is coming off a little bit lighter than what it is that's what it looks like but I like this here I think it'd be really really nice for me these other three I probably wouldn't use them much for anything but um, you never know. You can always find use for something, you know, whether it be something to prom your eye with or I don't know. But I believe you can use your makeup for more than one thing. But I got this. This is by Essence. The first product I've ever picked up from Essence. And like I said, Ulta, no shipping points used, $6 because it's not expensive to begin with. But that's the one thing that I got from Ulta. Now, okay, this was the one I was giving to tell y'all the other story with. I'm going to tell y'all a story that ain't even true. Now, I'm going to go back to packaging. Again, Ulta, not Ulta, not Ulta. Juvia's place need to take some lessons from other companies with their packing. I got a palette, of course. They sent it in this box right here. And I said, wow, this box is pretty heavy. And it's pretty heavy because, look, look, look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? They sent me a little card. Okay. If you want 20% off, use the code word THANKS20. Because her stuff is kind of expensive. Beautiful, but expensive. Look at all the stuff they packed that palette with. Julia's place better start taking note because... 
Like I said, break something and see. I think you have a hard time trying to get it replaced. I hear you got to take a picture. I don't know if that's still that same way, but you got to take a picture. And so, I had gotten an email. I had wanted to get this. The regular price is $38, and I was like, not me, not this girl. So, I got an email from Ulta saying that this palette was going to be on sale, but it must have been an old email because when I went to the store, the girl looked at me like I was crazy. But it's the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Cocoa Coffee and Cocoa Palette. I ain't paying no $28, $38 for no palette. I mean, I'd be screaming and pay $38 for a foundation. Oh my gosh. If I had known, it was going to take me forever and a day. Ooh. Ooh. And this is the only thing I got from Beauty Bakery. But she has a lot of other things that I would like to try. But I, I got to have like 30 40%. <laughs> because her stuff is expensive. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the palette that I got. Right. So like I mentioned, when I went to Ulta, the girl looked at me like I was crazy because I went to the cash register. She told me how much it was. I was like, hey, isn't that on sale? She's like, no. Girl, I put it back. And like two days later, this was on sale on the website. Now, this is more like a bronzer that I would love. Yes. Yes. It's so pretty. Like, look at this color up here. I don't know what I would do with that. A blush, eyeshadow. Oh, and look at this here, too. This has some shimmer in it. And this here is a matte something for somebody. But I thought it was so pretty. It is pretty. It is pretty. The palette itself is really pretty. And here's the sleeve, which I'll probably always keep it in, but it was hard to get out. But this was on sale. So I said, I'm going to just go ahead and get it because I wanted to pick up something and support. But like I said, I just... Ew. Like I said, the price is a lot steep. I think I have one more thing I want to show you guys. And I want to hurry up because this video was only supposed to be 15 minutes. What y'all think? Y'all think this video should have been 15 minutes? Okay, okay, I can't put it back in. Alright, so now the next thing I picked up, I have been watching somebody's video. Mm-hmm. And she's not the only one, but she was the first one that I've come across that liked these beauty blenders. These are from Amazon, and they were really, really inexpensive. I had put them on my wish list, and I guess they went on sale. I got an email saying, hey, these are on sale. So it was only maybe like a dollar and some change off. But there are five in this set here. And like I said, I see a lot of people after I saw her video, and it feels just like the original Beauty Blender. That's exactly what it feels like. The reviews seem to be good. I've seen a couple of reviews saying they had washed them and they turned into something other than the shape that you purchased them. But I thought they were really pretty and I like the really vibrant, festive colors. Um, that'll always get you right. And they were only, I think maybe like $8.99. So it's not too bad. I mean... Miss A has them now for what a dollar and fifty five cent. Which if you bought five, will probably come up to well. Okay, it just depends. Okay, now here it is. But they even have a Facebook. Is it a Facebook group or just go to Facebook? Hmm. Join our Facebook to enjoy super. I get oh super made makeup addict. Super makeup addict. I think that's their Facebook page. I don't know if it's a group or just for the company, but Beaky, Beaky, BK? I don't know. We just need to have simple names that we consumers can pronounce. But anyway, yes, so this is my haul of all the beauty stuff that I purchase when I'm supposed to be on a no-buy. So that's why I said I'm going to just turn this into a low-buy. But this is, um, mid-march and for me just purchasing what i purchased it's not too bad because remember most things all things i got on sale even though this was like a dollar i got that on sale i got that on sale that on sale this was the regular price regular price and i think um that pa um palette from the bronzer from l'oreal that was 
regular price too. But other than that, everything I have here is um, on sale. So if you're looking to purchase something from Beauty Bakery, use the code because um, it's on the card. You know how to give you the complimentary co card. So thanks. And yes, I'm glad I purchased something, but I do want to purchase some of her other products eventually. But like I said, she's going to have to have a serious sale or I'm going to have to win the lotto. But anyway, listen, guys, I'm going to end this video now because it's rather late. No, it's really late. And I have some things I have to do. Like tomorrow, I need to be out of this house. I have to be out of this house. I have so many things I need to be doing. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get done. I'm going to make the attempt to. So I'm going to end this video. And, yeah. So, I'm going to take this makeup off my face, put this stuff away, find a place to put it, because I got stuff, like, everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. And hopefully soon I'll be able to record some type of look, having fun, playing with makeup on the camera. But listen, 30 some odd minutes, I got to go. You guys, stay safe. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands and don't touch your face, especially when you're outside. If you have some, um, what do you call that stuff? Carry it with you always. What is it? Hand sanitizer, if you have it. If you don't, remember, wash your hands because that's just as good. But keep your hands out of your face. That's the main thing. And I want you guys to do nothing. If you do nothing in this world tomorrow, when you go out or today, whenever, just share and spread love, especially now. Share and spread love, y'all.